Parramatta came into round four with just two competition points, while local rivals Penrith were on four. The Panthers started the match looking every bit the favourite. Kevin Nagama just short of Jamie Soward's bomb. In the 15th minute and against a 3-1 penalty count, a try against the run of play ensued. Willie Tonga going the length. A knock-on in goal by Parramatta and more penalties for Penrith helped the Panthers back into the game. But in the 27th minute, Penrith allowed Parramatta to take command again with some weak defence on their own try line. Down this end of the field only for the second time in the match. But a resurgent Penrith went into half time just two points behind the Eels. Lewis Brown dummied Moylan's conversion attempt leaving a little to be desired. Things were starting to look good for the Panthers when Farre crossed early in the second half. But in the Panthers' follow up set, Docker had a dose of the dropsies. Q Parramatta reply. Sandow's bomb in the 52nd minute had the Panthers searching for answers. The knock on triggering a period of Parramatta possession. Soon the Eels struck again, with Semi Radradra profiting from a Hain cutout pass. The Panthers went close in the 65th minute, but Nagama's slip up proved costly. The ball from Idris was a cracker and, and within five minutes, Jared Hayne was punishing the Panthers again. In the 75th minute, it was all mathematical as the Eels struck off a scrum. Parramatta comfortable winners 32 to 16 over Penrith. Very early in the piece, but a dominant second half performance by the Parramatta side.